it's Karen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys everything I know about STEM. So by the way guys, this video is going to be based on my experiences um, because I took STEM when I was in senior high school. So as you guys read by the title, I will be discussing everything about STEM from what, why, um, my STEM starter packs, and then my STEM tips. So if you guys are interested um, in knowing those, then just keep on watching. So first question, um, what is STEM? So STEM is an academic strand um, and STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. So by the name itself, malalaman nyo na rin agad kung about saan yung buong strand na yun. So the next one is why STEM. So the reason that I chose STEM is because of the course that I want to pursue in college and because of the profession that I want in the future. Because the course that I want to pursue is medical related, so it's on the science part. So that's why I chose STEM. And hindi naman yung guys limited na just because you took STEM in senior high school, hindi na kayo pwede makapag-take ng course na supported ng Humes or ABM or kung ano mang strand yun. Um, it's just that it will be easier for you because yung two years na tinake mo ng senior high school, I really think na sobrang laki ng impact nun sa kung ano yung parang gugustuhin mong i-pursue. And talagang mas makahasa ka if two years mong pinag-practice yung ganong field. So that's why I chose STEM. Because again, I chose a science-related course. But again, guys, hindi naman yung limited. So currently, I am enrolled as a freshman um, taking Doctor of Dental Medicine. And so yeah, sobrang STEM-related nun. And I'm so happy because nakita ko yung mga subjects ko. And sobrang puro science, eh, siya puro um, STEM-related. So that made me happy talaga. And ayan. So now let's move on to the STEM starter pack part of this video. So the first one I gusto kong sabihin sa inyo guys is to please invest or please get um, a scientific calculator because scientific calculator will be your best friend until the end. Um, hindi mo lang siya magagamit um, during grade 11 but also magagamit mo lang siya when you turn grade 12. And actually guys, kaya ako sinabing scientific calculator specifically, it's because may mga solution kayo na hindi nyo kayang isolve sa regular or traditional calculator na walang mga special stuff na ginagawa. So, for example, kailangan nyo mag-solve ng fraction over fraction over fraction and stuff. Kailangan nyo mag-solve ng derivatives. So, may mga times talaga hindi siya kaya sa normal na calculator. So, that's why it is important that you guys invest in a good scientific calculator. And, yeah. Hindi nyo lang siya actually gagamitin sa maths, but you will also use it sa science, sa physics, sa chemistry. So, definitely get one. So, the second STEM starter pack na gusto kong sabihin sa inyo guys is to get your own graphing notebook or graphing paper. It's because may mga subjects din na nagre-require ng ganong type of paper. And actually guys, nakakatulong din talaga siya kasi mas parang napapalinis niyo yung sulat niyo. Napapalinis niyo yung pagsusukat niyo kasi may mga times nga na kailangan yung mag-measure ng stuff. And may mga times kasi guys na yung mismong block ng grid or yung grid ng graphing paper nyo, ayun yung parang basihan ng units ng measurements. So, sobrang malaking tulong din if you guys could get your hands on a graphing notebook or a graphing paper at least. So, the third STEM starter pack na gusto kong i-share sa inyo guys is periodic table of elements. So, this one really helped when I was in grade 11 because nung grade 11 namin tinake yung mga chemistry namin na subject. So, it is also really helpful to have one because hindi lang kayo magdi-deal sa hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, or basic elements. But magdi-deal din kayo sa mga elements na mabibigat, mas malalaki. And may mga times din na may kailangan kayong sagutan or kunin na makikita nyo lang yung information na yun sa periodic table of elements. And again guys, hindi lang ito yung aalamin mo kung anong element yung andito. But kailangan nyo rin kasi talagang i-measure yung bigat ng elements. And dito kasi guys, hindi lang kayo mag-focus on basic elements. So, magdi-deal din kayo with different compounds. Pagsasamahin nyo yung mga compounds, paghihiwalay nyo yung mga compounds. And talagang kakailangan nyo ng periodic table. So, definitely get one for yourself. So, the fourth STEM starter pack na gusto ko i-share sa inyo guys is ruler. So, ito na mga ruler na to. Nagamit namin siya nung grade 11 and then grade 12. So, for grade 11, gagamitin yung ruler sa statistics and probability na subjects nyo. Kasi, kailangan nyo gumawa ng quadrants, um, gagawa kayo ng mga curves, tangents, and sometimes geometry stuff, ganyan. So, that's really helpful. And for grade 12 naman, gagamitin yung ruler when you take physics. So, when you deal with vector quantity, scalar quantity, kailangan yung may sukatin and stuff. So, ayun, may mga angles din. So, it's really important that you guys get a ruler or protractor, ganyan. So, ayun. So, the fifth STEM starter pack na sabihin ko sa inyo, guys, actually, it really depends on your teacher. 
because sometimes they allow it, sometimes they don't. So it is correction tapes or correction fluid. So may mga teachers kasi na hindi sila nag-aallow ng paggamit ng correction tape or ng fluids sa papers. I mean, hindi nila naman sila masisisi, guys, because especially kapag final na paper na yun, kasi parang ang kalat tignan kapag may gumamit kayo ng mga correction fluid or tape. So, I recommend na you guys practice na parang sobrang ingatan nyo yung sinusulat nyo. I mean, of course, magkakamali at magkakamali tayo. But as much as possible, keep it at a minimum. Kasi nga, hindi lang din naman yung mga teachers nyo yung may kinabang dun habang nag-check sila ng paper. But also kayo na rin, uh, madadala nyo yung pagiging malinis sa pagsusulat nyo up until the end. So the sixth and the last time starter pack na sabi ko sa inyo guys is to have a yellow pad paper. So this one naman yung yellow pad kasi guys gagamitin niyo siya sa mga subjects niyo na um mga writing subjects niyo sa mga oral subjects niyo ganyan. And of course gagamitin niyo din siya sa mga subjects niyo, science subjects niyo because usually teachers ask you to answer on a yellow pad paper na lang instead of answering minsan sa book or answering sa paper na sila yung magpo-provide. So, it's really important lang din, guys, na meron kayong sarili yung yellow pad. Kasi, again, halos lahat ng subjects sa grade 11, grade 12, gumagamit talaga ng yellow pad paper. So, it's really important. So, moving on to my STEM-related tips or basically general senior high school tips. So, the first one is to practice working under pressure. So, this one is really important because naalala ko nung grade 11 um, general chemistry subject. Alas everyday kasi kami nagkakwi sa subject namin na yun. And as in, sobrang kailangan yung matuto mag-work under pressure. Dumating sa point na hinahabon na namin yung teacher namin pababa ng building. As in, tumatakbo na kami para lang mapasa yung quiz namin sa kanya. So, doon talaga guys, sobrang mahalagang matutunan yung mag-practice to work under pressure because hindi lahat ng teacher tatanggap ng late papers. And again, makakatulong din yun sa inyo kasi madadala nyo yung ugali na yun na marunong kayong mag-work under pressure under a specific amount of time lang. And I think that's really important especially now na classes will be taken online. So, hindi kayo basta-basta makakapagpasa kung kailan nyo lang gusto. It's really important na kailangan yung ipasa yon on or before the deadline. So, depende sa teacher niyo kung ano sabihin niya. So, the second tip na gusto kong sabihin sa inyo guys is to have patience. So, of course, hindi naman lahat ng subjects nyo magiging madali. And actually, sobrang mahalaga to, especially, especially now na senior high school na marami ng complex na pinapagawa sa inyo, mga complex problems and stuff. So, it's really important na maging patient kayo, especially guys sa sarili nyo kasi sobrang laki din ng pressure na nilalagay nyo sa sarili nyo just to finish a specific task or a specific activity. So, just be patient because may mga bagay ka talaga na hindi matututunan overnight. So, just be patient with yourself and do your best hanggat kaya nyo talaga. So, the third tip na gusto kong sabihin sa inyo guys is to really focus. So, this one is not only applicable for face-to-face classes but also this one is applicable for online classes and it is really important because lalo ngayon na wala kang classmates wala kang teacher na kasama, hindi ka basta-basta makakapagtanong. So it's really important na kailangan mo mag-focus um, kailangan mo tanggalin yung mga distractions mo sa tabi kung kakailanganin mo itabi mo yung phone mo. Kasi talaga guys, may mga subjects din na kailangan mo talagang pag-focusan so may mga times na oo mahirap siya talaga so, for me personally, I'm not really fond of math. I'm not really fond of numbers. But, nung senior high school ako, thankfully, sobrang gagaling ng teachers ko. And then, nag-focus lang din ako. Kapag talaga may tinuturo sila, talagang wala akong palalampasin na time na hindi ako makikinig hanggat kaya ko. And that tip really helped me because, again, kapag nag-focus ka guys, may intindihan nyo siya. So, I think it's really important din na intindihan mo siya now. Kasi pag may binigay silang mga activities sa inyo, talagang kahit magawa mo ng isa, makakuha mo yung pattern, makakuha mo yung flow. Pag inintindi mo siya, magagawa mo na siya sa lahat. So, that's really helpful and sobrang na-enjoy ko yung ganong process. So, actually, sobrang thankful din ako sa mga naging teachers ko nung senior high school ako sa STEM, kahit sa non-STEM pa yan. Pero, especially sa mga STEM teachers ko talaga, sa mga teachers ko ng specialized subjects, kasi kung hindi rin dahil sa kanila, feeling ko hindi ako mag enjoy ng ganito sa STEM. And yeah, so that's why sabi ko mga sobrang, sobrang best decision din yung nag-take ako ng STEM nung senior high school. So, yung fourth tip na sabihin ko sa inyo guys is to keep your area as clean as possible. So, like sa classroom setup, syempre mas madali kang makapag-aral or makapag-focus kapag maayos yung paligid nyo. So, ganun din siya ngayon na mag-online classes na. So, 
hanggat kaya nyo, please maintain having an organized workspace or a clean workspace kasi sobrang makakatulong din siya. Kasi guys, kapag may mga junk sa paligid nyo, sobrang madidistract din kayo. So, it is important na you clean your workspace before starting. So, the fifth and last tip na gusto kong sabihin sa inyo guys is to take down notes. So, this one, um, I think this is my personal advice kasi I'm the type of person who really enjoys taking down notes. So, sobrang kahit may nagsasalitang teacher, kahit may nag-lecture, kahit may sinusulat siya sa board, talagang sinusulat ko rin sa paper ko. Kahit meron naman nun sa book, sinusulat ko pa rin sa notebook ko. Kasi iba pa rin guys kapag ikaw mismo yung nagsusulat, mas naatatandaan mo kasi nga, sinusulat mo na siya. And also, may mga times guys na wala sa book or sa internet yung information. So, may times din na sa teacher mo lang talaga makukuha yun. And hindi rin mauulit din basta-basta. So, it is important na masulat ka talaga yung mga kailangan nyo isulat. And yeah, so pag ba nag-review naman kayo, kapag wala, nalimutan nyo yung book nyo, at least meron kayong notes sa notebook nyo, and that is really helpful. And that is my personal tip, guys. Talagang take down notes as much as you can. Na mahalaga rin talaga, guys, mag-notes. Kasi kung ano yung nilalagay nyo sa notes nyo, ayun din kasi yung pagkakaintindi nyo. So, mas maintindihan nyo, mas ipapadali sa inyo, especially kapag nag-review kayo. So that's it for today's video guys. So thank you so much for watching and I really hope that this video helped you in case nagbabala kayong mag STEM or if you're a student enrolled in STEM. And so if you guys have any STEM related questions or any senior high related questions, just leave them down below and I will try my best to answer everything. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!